So you done met a chick, she look good, she fun, the vibes is there, y'all rocking out everything cool, but she got a kid or she has multiple kids, bro. First off, before I fully dive into this subject, if there's any ladies out there watching my video right now, I just, I just wanna say this ain't a video to bash single moms or talk down on women with kids. That's not what this video is about at all. I have uh, nothing but love for women. I love women. And so I'm not about to get on here and, and, and talk down or bash women. So that ain't what this is. But I am talking to the fellas right now and I got to give them some real, real deal game because some of the young cats I know in real life, I'll be seeing them make certain decisions and me being a OG to them, older cats to them with more advice and experience and wisdom to them, I'll be half and suggest give them certain game. And this is a subject that you know, I've been straying away from intentionally because it's just a lot of it online. But ladies, just know this ain't a bashing single women video, but it is going to have to get a little real because I got to I got to I got to tell the, the young dudes the real, you know, it's just it's just what it is. So don't crucify me. First off, I want to say, because I done heard this several times to some of the young dudes I know, they'd be telling me about a chick, you know, speaking highly on or whatever the case may be. And then they'll be like, yeah, she got a kid or she got two kids or she got three kids. I've even heard cats tell me she got four kids. Right. And and the dudes that be talking to me, a lot of the young kids, young cats that I mentor and speak to, they don't have any kids and they be fairly young, you know, early to mid 20s. They be, they be young. And I'd be like, bro, you just said she got what, bro? For sure, if you have no children, you a young man with no children and your whole life ahead of you, I, I have to tell you the real risks that come with dating a woman with kids and then also why you as a man with no kids should just completely just stay away. Just stay away. Just stay away. Don't even entertain it. Firstly, bro, it's so much. And I'm speaking from experience. I've done this before. Once, eh, maybe twice in my life. So I'm speaking from experience, bro. And then I know other cats that have done it as well. So I'm not just, you know, talking out the side of my head. You a dude that has no no children, right? And you talking to a chick with kids, right? Let's say you don't even want to date her seriously. The reason why you should just avoid it all together, right? Because a lot of you young cats have no discipline. You have no self-discipline. Y'all not strapping up for real. And you could mess around and get her pregnant and now become her second baby daddy. So your first your first child, your first experience, even if you wasn't dating her seriously, you slip up and you make a mistake. And I keep seeing it. I keep seeing you young cats doing it. You make a mistake and you get her pregnant. Now she keeping it. You cook, bro. You just signed up to be the second baby daddy, potentially be on child support. The relationship that you about to have with her is potentially possibly gonna fail because you already wasn't taking her seriously anyway she just looked good or you just wanted to have fun you just signed yourself up for 18 years or more 18 years minimum or more of just a living hell bro once you get that chick pregnant she got all the power and you just cooked yourself you got a much better chance got a much better chance of dealing with a woman with no kids while you have no kids, now y'all on an even playing field. So if she gets pregnant, she's experiencing her first time having a child, just like you having your first time having a child. Y'all mentalities should be a little bit more on the same page versus somebody who done been here before, done did this before, possibly got their first baby daddy on child support, who knows? And if she doesn't and put you on child support, that makes it even crazier, bro. What I'm seeing and hearing a lot of times from these young dudes, bro, they'll tell me like, yeah, man, she cool. You know, her baby daddy, he just, he ain't around. He don't be supporting the kid. He ain't doing what he's supposed to be doing as a man, blah, blah, blah. And then they feeling like obligated or they feeling sorry for the chick. So they want to step up and take care of, of the child that the biological dad is not taking care of. He develops, you know, a little, a little relationship with the chick. He start feeling sorry for her and he's like, I'm gonna step up and I'm gonna do it. At the end of the day, bro, you get no return on your investment when you do that. Things work out forever. Cool. Great. If they don't, you get zero return on your investment compared to when you got your own child, you, you get your return on your investment. So all the things that you put into this child, you get to reap the benefits of it because it's your kid. You need to understand, bro, the financial stresses that come with dating a woman with a child, right? Now, we're not about to sit up here and act like everybody 
in the world is just rich, right? We got the census, we got the statistics to look and prove that the majority of people are living an average lifestyle. There's a very small percentage of people that are super rich and super well off, right? Including most of the people that's watching my videos, most of the people that's watching my channel. You live an average lifestyle like the majority of people. We're gonna speak on the majority. Dating a woman with kid comes with financial stresses, bro. It comes with financial stresses on you, dating her, and, th and, and then also on her. But a lot of the chicks that you come across, these young dudes that's telling me they dating a chick that got a kid or have children, you know, I ask them, well, like, well, what does she do, man? And they'll say, you know, she's working a, a, a typical average job, nine to five job, living in an average apartment or average house. You know, the, the outliers is not what I'm referring to. The ones that have made it and they done, they're super successful and everything. It's cool. That's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to the average day to day person. So when you meet her, she already dealing with enough. She a single mom. She got a kid that she got to take care of. So the financial stresses are there. Now, here you are coming in. All right, and you as a man, I believe and she believes that you should be stepping up to the plate being a man and helping her out or else why are you there? Like, what are you there for? So already you signing up to help her out for the bad decisions that she done made, bro. Depending on, you know, the, the situation, why she ended up not with her child's father, whatever the reasoning was, you know, but typically they broke up for whatever reason they broke up for. She decided she didn't want to stay with him or he decided he didn't want to stay with her for whatever reason. She had a child a lot of times out of wedlock or children a lot of times out of wedlock. And here you are coming to step up to the plate. So, bro, the money that you're going to have to invest in this woman and her child and you don't have any children. Make it make sense for me, bro. Make it make sense for me. You're not going to be able to. I've dated one or two single moms. The being a, a, a stepdad part, like taking care of a, a, another woman's kid there there are no benefits to you as the as the guy like you get no benefit out of that uh yeah you get to, to to date and deal with the mom you know if you really like her but as far as the things that you're doing for her child and helping her and her child is you get no benefits for that there's no there's no benefit to you it's better for you to just start your own family have your own kids once you in a situation where you are stable enough to support that but it's gonna get to a point right in the beginning she's gonna be like i'm good sometimes she's gonna be like i'm good you know everything cool whatever whatever right and then you're gonna start noticing you know she may be like yo uh it's, it's tough right now you know what i'm saying i'm struggling to pay my rent right now or my son need this or my daughter need this or whatever the case may be you as the man in that moment you got a decision to make bro you either gonna step up and help her out as she would expect you to do being a man even if she didn't have a kid, women are looking for you to be a provider. They want to see if you have that provider nature in you, which you should. But especially when a child is involved, if you standing in her way of finding another man who will step up to help provide for her, she's going to be looking at you kind of crazy like, bro, why are you here? So now you got a decision to make financially. You don't even have any children, but yet you stepping up paying for another man's child, especially if he isn't in that child's life. That's first and foremost. It comes with financial stresses, bro. If you're not rich and just rolling in the dough, or if she not rich and just rolling in the dough, it's gonna be financial issues that y'all come across because she has a child and you don't. You figuring out ways, y'all wanna go to Disney World, y'all need to scrape up a few thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? You gotta stack up for you, her, and her kids. She gotta stack up. Keep your money, bro. And, and everything I'm telling you, I'm telling you, beforehand so if you are to meet a chick that has a child and she's telling you she has a child i want you to know all of the risks that come with this and i want you to know everything you about to sign yourself up for because it's really not worth it in the end unfortunately so if you a single dude if you a young man with no children and you come across a woman with children i would advise you to not even pursue it you about to risk financial stress you about to risk possibly getting this girl pregnant and now she's having another kid and you signing up to be her second or third or fourth baby daddy, whatever the case may be. You just digging yourself a deeper hole to get out of from the jump. Like soon as you start entertaining this person, you're digging yourself a deeper hole. And I'm speaking on average. This is not all women. This is not all single mothers. This is not all women with kids, but I'm speaking in general. You better off playing the numbers, right? You better. It's the law of averages. Next if she has an active father to her child right 
an active co-parenting situation, right? Hopefully the co-parenting situation is cool for the both of them. Hopefully there's no drama, but sometimes and a lot of times it's drama, bro. They broke up for a reason. They broke up for whatever reason. They can't see eye to eye on certain things, right? So now here you are coming to sign up to be with this woman. She's going to be getting stresses from her child's father. And a lot of times she gets those stresses from her child's father and those stresses can be taken out on you. You didn't even have to do anything. Her baby daddy could have pissed her off. Now she's mad. Her baby daddy has made your girl mad. Your girl is mad from another man and you didn't even do nothing. But you are the receiver. You're on the receiving end of her being upset from whatever disagreements that she done had with her baby daddy. That happens way too often. And then you the one who, who gonna be the punching bag so her baby daddy didn't want to pick his kid up when he said he was coming. Now she pissed. Y'all had plans to go on a date. Now she got to cancel the date because her baby daddy done canceled. He still want to be with her. So he don't want to come pick the kid up because, you know, if he come pick the kid up, she going to be out running the streets and he don't want her. out. <sighs> Bro, why? You already you already have to deal with just whatever comes with dating women in general. Right. It's never going to be perfect. So you already got to deal with that sprinkle a kid into the mix or kids into the mix and then a baby daddy into the mix or baby daddies into the mix. just sprinkle all that stuff in it's just getting more and more chaotic for you and and it's like for what like what are you what are you signing up for this for what are you benefiting what are you getting out of this what is your reason you as a man with no children to sign up for this make it make sense bro next again i'm just giving you all the risks that come with dating a woman with kids next you got to deal with the blended family dynamic, right? If you don't have kids, she has kids or a kid. Y'all get to the point where y'all done got serious and y'all want to move in together and y'all want to live together, right? Now you have the dynamic of the mom, the child, and you yourself. You yourself are really going to be the outsider in that situation, right? Because a lot of women don't believe in letting another man that's not their child's father discipline their child. I've dealt with this myself. I've seen this myself. They feel a type of way, right? Some women feel like you just don't like my child. You just don't like my kid for whatever reason. And that may not even be the case, especially if they have a, a, a son. Little boys need structure. They need guidance. They need, they need a father figure. They need that in their life or else they're just going to be running wild from a young age on up. So if you a man in that child's life, she got a son and you see that that son needs some structure and some discipline, and you try to display that or you try to tell her that or you try to uh, enforce that some structure and some discipline in that child's life a lot of women don't feel comfortable with that especially if you're not that child's biological dad they say oh no he don't need to oh no i got it no i don't tell him to do that now you in your own house you can't even have no peace of mind she thinks it's okay for him to run around the wall bounce off the walls and jump on the couch and do all this crazy stuff drawing your walls with crayons you think that's okay oh he's just a kid he'll grow out of it and you stressed out you irritated you upset she gonna get mad at you if you discipline the kid again it's more things that you signing up for for what what is the benefit what is the return that you're getting to add all of this stress to your life this this unnecessary stress that you signed up for you can't get mad at anybody but yourself because you signed up to be in this position when you dating the chick with kids you're you're signing up to be a part of their family and it gets really difficult if the chick, if the if the kid don't like you, if the kid don't rock with you, it get really difficult. Especially again if it's a little boy. Uh, we as men from the jump, bro, we're wired a certain type of way to 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 be uh, protective, possessive. That young man don't want to share his mama. He don't want to share his mama with you. Again, I'm speaking in general. I know there are exceptions to the rules, but that young man don't want to share his mama with you. So. When you talking about blending a family or you becoming a part of their family, you got to overcome that. You got to deal with that. And sometimes the little boy may never rock with you because he really don't have to. You not his real dad. He's looking at it like, bro, why do I got to be cool with you? He's looking at his mom like that. Why do I got to be cool with him? This ain't my dad. I don't know this man. You like this man. You dating him. I don't know him. This ain't my daddy. So now you have to you have to take on the, the obligation of trying to build a bond and a relationship with this kid if the kid don't like you if the kid isn't being welcoming she's going to be looking to you to build that relationship with him 
You can't you can't say, oh, your son don't like me. I don't like him. We just ain't going to be rocking with each other in the same house. That ain't going to fly. That ain't going to fly with her for sure. She's going to be like, no, I need y'all to build that relationship. I need to see you being a father figure to my child. And if that child isn't welcoming, that's just more stresses you got to add. All of these things, you can be focusing your energy and effort somewhere else, bettering yourself. But instead, you got to focus them on this dynamic that you signed up for. Now you gotta try and play the video game with a dude, he ain't talking to you. You gotta try and take him out to go play catch. He don't wanna play catch. He don't wanna, he don't wanna be around you. I've noticed that there are a couple guys that I know who have dated women who have little girls. I've never dated a woman with a little girl, but from what I hear, they're a lot more welcoming, right? It's a lot more nurturing. They're not so closed off because they're not young men, they're young women. So they don't feel like it's two men in the house. You know what I'm saying? Y'all bumping heads, both trying to be the alpha, both trying to be the head of the house. They're, they're a lot more welcoming. That's what I've heard. But even still, you can still, you can still deal with those same things with a little girl looking at you like, you're not my daddy. You can't tell me what to do. I don't want to hear it. Answer the question. Why are you signing up for this? Is it because this girl looks good? Is it because y'all vibed out? This is why I say from the jump, if you find out she has children, just keep it pushing, bro. Don't even sign up for it. You might end up liking her, but it's like, is you liking her worth the risks and worth the stresses and the headaches that comes with dating somebody with a, with a child and you don't even have children? Is it worth it? Another thing, her, her priority list, a lot of times, this isn't all women, but a lot of times her priority list would leave you under however many children she has she she comes first in her in her world her priority list would be her first then her child or children depending on how many she has and then you that's as high as you, that's as high as it's going to be for you for most of these situations it's not going to be she's putting you first and then herself and then her children that's not how it's going bro not out here not in 2024 and beyond with you being lower on her priority the highest you can be is third in her life and it could probably be even lower than that when it comes to her her time right she has to make time for herself first she has to make time for her child next or children and then she makes time for you so you're getting a third of her time or less don't she could have other people ahead of you on her priorities list but the, that's that's the, the as high as you're gonna get so you might want to go hang out on a saturday she like oh i gotta i ain't got no babysitter i ain't got nobody to watch my kid i, I got my kids tonight we can't go out or she may have things planned for herself oh that's that's my only free day to go get my hair done because i got my kids on my other day so i'm using that day to get my hair done let's do another you ain't even gonna be able to get her time for real a lot of times especially if she doesn't have a set schedule or a set structured schedule with the child's father where she knows exactly what day she's free uh compared to to not knowing what day she's free if she don't have that if it's just like oh my kid go and his dad whenever he say he gonna get him i don't know when he gonna get him you're not gonna get you you third in line when it comes to getting her time energy she gotta go to work she gotta pay her bills take care of her kid so she's tired from work then when she get off work she gotta take care of her kid kid is draining her energy so after work after take care of the kids you get what little energy she got left maybe she may not want to give you the little energy she got left she may want to keep it for herself but you get the little energy she got left these are all things that you need to consider when you meet a chick and she say i got a kid or i got kids you need to start considering all of these things before you even take any more steps further it's not even worth risking saying oh i'm gonna just have fun with her i ain't gonna date her seriously don't even waste that woman time bro she don't want you to waste her time. She ain't got time to waste for real. So you're better off not even entertaining it. There's so many factors. There's so many risks. There's so many cons that come with just that dynamic, that overall situation that you're about to sign yourself up for. This has nothing to do with the woman or who she is as a person or none of that. I'm just speaking on what comes with that situation. So you really, really got to ask yourself because if you still, after knowing all of these things, understanding all these risks and you still proceed to go forward you cannot get mad at anybody but yourself once you actually dealing with the things that come with it because she told you she had a kid you knew she had a kid you still wanted to proceed so you have to approach it like that i know exactly what i'm getting myself into 
I know if this situation doesn't work out, she's pulling that kid away from me because it's not my kid. I, I'm not going to be able to continue to have that relationship or bond that I developed with that kid. She might snatch that away from me. I know all of the effort and energy I put into her child that her child got to benefit from. I know I won't be able to see the results of that if we break up, if she pulls that away from me. I understand that there's a possibility that she could get back with her child's father if her child's father say he want to work it back out. It would make the most sense for her to get back with her child's father because that child will have both of their parents in the same home. You're running a risk of that. So if you understand all the risks that come with dating a woman with a child and you still decide to go forward with it, then just know you can't get mad at anyone but yourself. You can't even get mad. So if you don't have any children, bro, I'm telling you, man, it would be in your best interest to just stay away, just stray away from the women with kids, bro. It, 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 does you, uh, it does you no benefit. You can find you a woman that looks just as good as the one that you're talking to with the kid. You can find a woman that's going to treat you just as well. It may be difficult. It may be harder to find, but you can find it. Don't think that it's not out there. If you continuously improving yourself and you can continuously working on yourself, like I always tell you all to do and continuously elevating yourself, you opening up more options for yourself so that you can find a woman with no kids that got all the other qualities that you're looking for. So you got to always be improving, actively improving, actively working on yourself to get better. That gives you more options. That gives you the chance to get the best possible woman that you can get for yourself so that you won't have to deal with all those crazy things. Now, after me telling you all of this, if you still want to be like, yo, I'm rocking out with my with my woman that got the kids or I'm still about to talk to this chick that I just met that got a kid or kids. And if you after watching this, you still want to do it. Go ahead. But like I say, it's just my it's just my responsibility to get game to the younger cats and let y'all know all the things that i've learned and that i've seen and not just from myself but from other people around me the other men that i know who, who done dealt with the same thing i'm just giving you the game and then you take the game and you do with it what you what you will but you can't say that you didn't know that's what this is all about if you wise you will listen if this video benefited you in any way or if you know anybody that could benefit from this video bro hit the share button send it to them hit the subscribe button for me and I got more videos on the way, man. Peace.